Morning everyone, it's Julia from Crosspatch here. Uh, just got back from my run, so excuse me for being breathless. Walked in the shed and realised, oh yeah, I was supposed to do YouTube today because I set it all up last night and of course completely forgotten with my menopause brain. So today I'm going to talk about some new templates I've designed and I call them Easy Star Templates because basically they're designed to make star blocks like this. Um, I've started with two sizes to begin with, just to try them out, a four inch and an eight inch. So that was the eight inch and this is the little baby one, the little four inch one. And this is what they look like. So here's the four inch templates and here's, start again, ignore that, eight inch obviously because they're the bigger ones. And these are the four inch little baby ones. So you've got four squares, uh, A, B, C, D and in, you will get a pattern with them, some instructions that will tell you what to do and give you ideas of things to make and how to cut them out. Basically it's meant to make it easier for you because when you're doing, when I make my stars I do them like you would make easy flying geese and there's lots of fussy cutting out because you're cutting things at like three and three eighths and silly measurements and it's a pain. So it's supposed to make it quicker. So what you'll do, you'll get your your squares square templates so these ones here that I've cut out are the eight inch ones um, and in the pattern I'll tell you how many of each to cut out so you'll cut out four A's um, those will be your points of your stars one B four C's which are your four corner blocks and one D so that's your center block so that will be your center block these are going to be your little points on your stars and those will be the bit that like the geese body and a flying geese is your B and your C's are your four corner blocks. So they're really easy to cut out because they've got non-slip bits on the back. So just you'll pick up the block and it says cut one number B. So you just go around and cut one number B. It's really easy. It's all explained in the instructions. So once you cut those out, this is enough to make one eight inch block. So what you'll do next, let's move the templates out of the way. So you'll cut all your pieces out and you'll start with your B block. So your one B block and your four A's. So your one B and your four A's. On your A's, you'll draw a diagonal line across all the, the back of all of them. And you'll take your B block, which is this red one, and two of your A blocks and put them in opposite corners. There's a diagonal line, you can see they'll meet up across the middle and you'll sew one quarter inch either side of those. Then you will cut that in half. And all you do then is you fold these back, these little wings back and press them. So you'll end up with two of these. So once you've got two of those, all you need to do is take the remaining two A blocks that you've got and put them again across the remaining corner of each half. So there's one on that half and then you'll need to put one on the bottom of that half. Again, so quarter of an inch either side of your line of that diagonal line and cut it apart again and you'll end up with four flying geese, so two from each half. So there's one, there's another one. Just press them back, fold them back. So at this point, you've got four flying geese. So if you're just wanting to make flying geese, just cut these blocks, uh, cut your A and B blocks to make a load of flying geese. Uh, it makes it really quick. So you'll end up with four, four ge flying geese. So to make up your actual, if you want to go on to make your star block, you then you'll cut your C and your D. So the D is your centre square, which is this one. And arrange your four geese around it. So you've got one, two, three, four. So you've got your four geese around it and then You've got your four corner blocks, one, two, three, four. So that will make your star block. And it's that's why it's called easy star, because I think it's easy. 
sew it together and you've got there's your finished block or if you want to you can do it more like a square in a square so turn them the other way around like that and it becomes a square in a square like that looks quite good actually I like that I'll have to do that I haven't made anything with square and squares yet I've just been doing my easy stars so in your instructions that you'll get with it it'll tell you how to make a bag a table runner a cushion and a quilt and i'm going to show you those now there's also a table of measurements so um, if you had just the pattern um, you can cut it out yourself um, if you want um, without using the easy star uh, templates but it is obviously it's a lot easier with the templates so if you want to make a few things with it you can make this is a cushion so what you can do on this one, the star in the middle is an eight inch star, but instead of using the block in the middle, the one block in the middle, I've made a baby four inch one and I've put him in the middle of the eight inch star. So that would be your eight inch star in the middle. And instead of having your center block, make another little baby one to go in the middle of him. Um, or, you could make um, here's a cushion so this um, is just the flying geese so I've just joined the flying geese together to make a cushion or you can make let's see what else have we got down here we've got a bag over here so here's a bag again I've just used the flying geese for the bag and then I've used one four inch easy star block for the little matching pin cushion uh, inside my bag is a table runner so here's a table runner so these fabrics are threads that bind and the one the samples I was showing you earlier of course are French General so this is a table runner so this table runner is quite long I think it's 48 inches long so all I've done in this one is put I've used eight inch star blocks so I've done two four six eight ten I think eight inch star blocks and then I've put the little ones on the end it's all in the patterns anyway that you get with your easy star templates so I put the four inch ones on the end and finally I made a quilt which you won't be able to see very well if you look on uh, Julia Crosspatch on Instagram there's lots of photos of these so this is a quilt I made using the French general um, what I used with these I do six packs of the threads that bind and the French general fabrics so one six pack will make this quilt plus a cushion to match it. Um, it will make um, the cushion and the table runner. Um, I think I used quite a lot for the bag. Um, so you probably make the bag and a little cushion. Uh, there's not so many fabrics in the threads that bind six pack. I think there's 54 in that and then there's 80 in the French general one. Um, I'm launching these on Create and Craft um, on the 17th at 7pm and on the Sunday uh, at the 18th at 9am and I've just got a few to begin with because I don't know not everyone might agree that they're a good idea <laughs> so we're just trying them out uh, to begin with and if people like them, I'll do, um, I'm going to do a six inch and 12 inch one um, and I'll do more of these as well. Um, subject to Handy Andy having the time to cut the things out for me. Um, yeah, so that's it really. Oh, the other thing, um, well, I've got the hearts quilt underneath me that these, um, the flying geese bits are really good for. I do lots of quilts with the hearts template, heart uh, blocks. And the flying geese bits are really good for the top of your hearts. So that's another idea to use them for. And I don't, you'll find a lot of my patterns, I use these heart blocks. Um, this one's a 12 inch block, so you would need a 12 inch uh, template for this one. Um, but I do lots of things like, where's this bag? I got a bag out earlier, buried it all in my excitement this morning. Here we are. This is would be the four inch. So if you had the four inch template, you can do the little flying geese for the top of these hearts on this bag. Uh, this bag will be on Create and Craft as well. So if you're buying like the pattern for the bag and you've got the easy star templates, um, it'll make it easier for you to cut the bag out too. 
Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, I'm off to clear up and go down the post office because the posties are on strike again for two days this week. So I need to get all my posts done. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.